What's going on YouTube? John here and today I have a review of the Motorola Droid Razer M on Verizon Wireless. We're going to talk about the hardware, the specs, the cameras, the software, and everything else in between. So let's go ahead and get started. First let's go ahead and talk about the specs of the Droid Razer M. It features a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED Advanced QHD display. It's made from an aluminum frame with DuPont Kevlar fiber and scratch resistant Corning Gorilla Glass. It weighs in at 126 grams. It also features a 2000 milliamp lithium ion battery. It has 8 gigs of internal storage and support for up to 32 gig micro SD card. It also features a 1.5 gigahertz dual core CPU and NFC inside. Taking a look around the phone, we have the 4.3 inch Super AMOLED display, the Motorola logo up top with a 0.3 megapixel VGA camera, Verizon logo down below. On the left hand side we have your micro USB port for connecting to your computer and charging it and your micro SD card slot that supports up to 32 gigs. Up top we have your headphone jack. On the right we have the power button and below the power button we have the volume rocker. On the bottom of the phone there is nothing. On the back is kind of a textured grip there. Motorola logo, 4G logo, Verizon logo, and then up top we have your 8 megapixel rear facing camera with LED flash that does four times zoom. So that's a look around the phone itself. It's pretty thin and lightweight. The Droid Razer M comes with a mostly clean version of Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich and is also upgradable right now to Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. It's not really packing a ton of new features uh, in this version so it has on-screen navigation buttons that keeps it simple. It also has a nice on-screen clock and weather and battery life widget there. Um, if you scroll all the way to the left you can toggle some settings such as the GPS, mobile data, and Wi-Fi, which is pretty nice. Uh, I didn't have any real issues with lag or anything on the uh, Droid Razer M. Um, also, playing games was really nice. I, as you can see here, playing Temple Run, and they ran smoothly and nicely. Uh, the only downside is that the display is not quite HD, so it's not quite up there with the quality of other phones like the Galaxy S3 or the iPhone 5. Talking about the rear facing 8 megapixel camera on the Droid Razer M now, it's really not up to par with other phone manufacturers such as Apple, Samsung, or HTC. Pictures feel a little washed out, outside pictures do. Uh, the colors aren't very vibrant, so just go ahead and take a look at some of the pictures I took and the video I took with the rear facing camera. So my final thoughts on the Droid Razer M are that it is a pretty nice handset at a pretty good price. It doesn't have the flash of the iPhone 5 or the Galaxy S3 or the Galaxy Note 2, but it, it has a nice build quality and it's half the price of those phones at $100 on a two-year contract on Verizon. So it also uh, feels great to hold. It feels like it has some a little bit of heft to it, so it... Uh, it feels like it's not going to just break when you drop it. It has a, a Snapdragon S4 processor, which is really snappy. Uh, also comes with a clean version of Android 4.0, which is really nice, so nothing on top of that. It gets uh, good battery life, so you're going to get a good day's uh, use out of the battery on this. Also comes with the uh, micro SD card slot that supports up to 32 gigs, so you can add uh, some storage there. Some of the bad points are that it, the camera just isn't up to par with other uh, phones out there, and and the screen is just not quite HD with the resolution it has. So with the fact that it is priced at $100 on a two-year contract, has all those uh, good things I mentioned before, along with Verizon's 4G LTE NFC, if you have that uh, 4G in your area, you're going to get some really fast speeds. So it's a really uh, good phone for someone that's looking 
for a mid-range smartphone out there. So if you have any comments or questions about the Droid Razor M, leave those down below and I'll try to help you out. And if you like this video, you can hit that thumbs up button, which always helps me out. And if you want to see more videos, guys, hit the subscribe button up top so you can be notified of all my new videos when they hit the YouTube website. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.